What's up everybody, Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to dim your Android's display below the minimum brightness level. Damn. The first way I'm going to show you is by using the popular free application called Screen Filter. To use Screen Filter, all you have to do is tap the icon that's generated on your home screen. Once you do, it works as a toggle and it'll automatically dim your screen. Now if you want to adjust the levels or go through the settings, pull down your notification shade, then tap the screen filter tile. Within the settings, all you have to do is just select the brightness level. Now you can go pretty low, almost all the way to completely black, which if you do, don't worry because the application brings up a little prompt for you to confirm if you want it that low. I think it's once you get to like a really critical level, it'll prompt you once you enable it, just so you can confirm. And if you don't, because your screen's so black you can't see anything, after 10 seconds it'll toggle off the dimness and bring you back to normal. That way you can go ahead and configure it to a functional level. But as you can see, I can go pretty low and you have that sample text right there, as well as an option to enable soft key backlight. I'm just gonna go pretty low, and I'm just gonna go ahead and enable it. Now here you can barely see it. I don't know if you can in the video, but it says screen filter warning. Your brightness setting is 15.9% maybe too dark, blah, 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 blah. After 10 seconds, it'll toggle off and I didn't confirm, so it went back to normal. But from right here, I can just from now on, if I wanna get really low in a movie theater, just tap this icon and then hit keep setting and you can see it's pretty damn low. I can see it, maybe you can't, but all it takes is a little tap and there you go, I'm ready to go. For the second method, we're gonna be using Lux Light. There is a premium Lux version, but the light one works just fine. But if you wanna to contribute to the developer and get additional features, then definitely check out the full version. But for this video, we'll be checking out Lux Light. Now, unlike the previous application, this one has a lot more features and lets you really fine tune the application the way you want. If you don't want something that basic like screen filter, then this is definitely the option you should consider. Much like the other one, just tap the application. You can begin You can begin setting it up. All you have to do is toggle it. You can go pretty low as you can see. And what I like about this one is you can adjust how the application will dim your screen as well as using profiles. So say I want a specific profile for my car during the day, at night, or in a cinema, I can do so and just adjust it that way by just picking my profile. Now there's an auto one, but as you can see that's a premium feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to day mode. Now all the features I talked about, access them through this gear or cog icon. And from here I suggest using the setup wizard. It makes it really simple and allows you to get familiar with some of the terminology they use. Uh, you have your brightness settings, you have uh, some other settings like shake to dim, a bunch of other settings you should definitely go through if you want an extensive dimming application. If you're a rooted user, definitely check out the full guide over at Gadget Hacks as we put a root option in there down below. Uh, for everything else, also check out the full guide, especially if you want the links. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome and very useful Gadget Hack videos. Thanks guys.